When you think of the most beautiful places on Earth, what do you think of? Mountains, forests, lakes, or tropical islands? As humans, we are so blessed to live on a planet with such raw beauty. We spend most of our lives locked away in cities, staring at our screens all day, when there are hidden gems across the world just waiting to be seen. Hey guys, welcome back to the Geography Bible. How's it going? My name's Sam, I'm your narrator for the video. In this video, we've picked out 10 of the most beautiful tropical destinations our planet has to offer from a variety of locations around the globe. I have been lucky enough to personally visit some of these places so I can personally vouch for how beautiful they truly are. And hopefully this video can inspire you to take the leap and visit one of these magnificent places one day. So sit back, relax, and we hope you enjoy as much as we enjoyed making this video for you. So starting off with number 10, Whitsunday's Island, Australia. I visited here in 2017 and what can I say, it was the most beautiful place I have ever personally seen with my own two eyes. It was so perfect, I couldn't really appreciate its full beauty. It genuinely was like something straight out of a movie. The 74 Whitsunday Islands lie between the northeast coast of Queensland, Australia and the Great Barrier Reef, a massive stretch of coral teeming with marine life. Most of the islands are uninhabited. They are categorised by dense rainforests, hiking trails and crystal clear waters with white sand beaches. The town of Early Beach on the mainland is the region's central hub and is an absolute must if you are travelling along the east coast of the land down under. Number 9. Bali and the Gili Islands, Indonesia For those seeking a tropical vacation with a spiritual side, Bali beckons with its mystical charm. Temples filled with fragrant incense, rice paddies glowing in the late amber sun, and the calm, gentle people of Bali add to this island's irresistible allure. If you're seeking a lively beach scene with plenty of shops and restaurants, base yourself in busy Qatar or Seminyak, where you'll also find fantastic surf beaches. Sana is a great spot for families with its gentle waves, and a bud in the lush hills away from the coast is the island's emerald soul. The Gili Islands and Komodo Island, where you will find the largest lizard on earth, are also a must. They are quite touristy, but hey, I'd rather be there right now with a bunch of tourists than in my home in England in the freezing cold. I personally visited the Gili Islands, and they were so much fun. Number 8. The Philippines, specifically Palawan. Palawan is a long island located just off the western flank of the Philippines and a paradise from end to end. Best known for its bright blue waters that contrast against the stone cliffs on the island, this is one of the most popular resort destinations in the Philippines and is only an 80 minute flight from the capital Manila. With plenty to explore from the gorgeous beaches, caves, jungles and the occasional settlement offering rustic Filipino food, almost bottomless beer and good company, Palawan offers adventures in the water, on land and at the dinner table too. I was supposed to visit here in 2020 and I'm devastated I've never got the chance. I've only heard amazing things about this place from other travellers. Number 7. Dominican Republic on the eastern side of the island, the Dominican Republic is a top choice for budget-minded travellers. But this popular vacation destination is much more than just glorious beaches and great value resorts. Rich in history and culture, DR as it's also called, also boasts some of the most diverse ecosystems in the Caribbean, with steamy jungles, deserts, mangroves, coral reefs, savanna and soaring green peaks. The capital, Santa Domingo, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, with charming colonial architecture and fascinating history. But if you just want to sit back and bathe on a beautiful beach, dive, swim, surf or snorkel, you'll find plenty of opportunities to do that too. Number 6. Zanzibar, Africa Step off the boat or plane onto the Zanzibar archipelago and you're transported through time and place. This is one of the world's great cultural crossroads, where Africa meets Arabia meets the Indian Ocean. Just off mainland Tanzania in the turquoise blue Indian Ocean, the island of Zanzibar conjures images of perfect palm suede beaches, white sand, billowing sailing boats and smiling happy locals. The main downside of Zanzibar is that it is probably the hardest to access out of any destinations on this list. 
Number 5. Belize Belize is a nation on the eastern coast of Central America, with Caribbean Sea shorelines to the east and dense jungle to the west. Offshore, the massive Belize barrier reef dotted with hundreds of low-lying islands called Kays hosts rich marine life. Belize's jungle areas are home to many Mayan ruins also. Most famously, Belize is known for its incredible scuba diving locations and is home to the world-famous Blue Hole, which is a giant marine sinkhole off the coast of Belize. It lies near the centre of Lighthouse Reef, a small atoll 70 kilometres from the mainland and Belize city. The hole is circular in shape, 318 metres across and 124 metres deep. Would you swim in there? I think it looks kind of scary. Number 4. Seychelles now, I have been to a lot of amazing beaches in my time. I'm an absolute sucker for a lovely beach. But there's something truly special about the boulder dotted coastlines of the Seychelles Islands. It makes this place truly unique. The locals often refer to this island as being the origin of the Garden of Eden. Located off the east coast of Kenya, the Seychelles is made up of 115 coral and granite islands. Most have protected areas of marine sanctuaries and UNESCO listed nature reserves, and are home to endemic species like the giant tortoise. You can spend your days hiking through the lush jungles, relaxing on the picture perfect beaches, or diving and exploring the island's underwater heritage. The thing that I love most about the Seychelles is that it is in the middle of absolute nowhere. Could you imagine pulling your phone out and looking at Google Maps, literally plonked in the middle of the planet with nothing around. I think it would be kind of scary, but also super cool. Number 3. Fiji. I planned to visit here in 2020, but COVID-19 had other ideas, and pretty much every day I get a little bit sad knowing I didn't get to visit here. Fiji, a country in the South Pacific, is an archipelago of more than 300 islands. It's famed for rugged landscapes, palmed lined beaches, and coral reefs, with clear lagoons. Snorkeling and diving here is among the best on the planet, with pristine, uninterrupted reefs. There are two ways to travel Fiji. You can either slum it and stay in a $20 a night hostel, or stay in a mid-range to luxurious hotel and spend a couple to several hundred dollars per night. Number 2. Bora Bora, Tahiti Bora Bora is the quintessential South Pacific paradise. This lush and dramatically beautiful island in French Polynesia rises to a sharp emerald peak, ringed by an azure of lagoons. Clusters of coconut palms bristle along the beach and luxurious bungalows perch over the crystal clear waters, some with glass floor panels so you can see the fish underneath where you're sleeping. So cool. While Bora Bora scores top points for the natural beauty, it also ticks the box if you're seeking some cultural appeal. The official language is French and you can taste the Gaelic influence in the gourmet cuisine and an array of fun water sports such as kayaking trips around the surrounding islands. You can do picturesque hiking trails and adventure seeking things such as shark dives and scuba diving. And it's easy to see why travellers rank pricey Bora Bora as a top honeymoon destination as it is the ultimate once in a lifetime place for a tropical honeymoon or destination. Number 1. The Maldives Spread across the Indian Ocean, southwest of India and Sri Lanka, the 26 natural atolls of the Maldives are possibly the most beautiful places on our planet, mainly due to the luminous blue waters that surround them. If swimming in the crystal clear, soul-warming sea is a top criteria for your perfect tropical vacation, this is the place to do it, as water comprises 99% of the Maldives. However, it comes at a price. The Maldives is notoriously expensive and is more of a once in a lifetime honeymoon destination. Male is the capital city, but most visitors head straight out to one of the remote atolls, where luxury resorts and bone white beaches fringed by aquamarine water await. Diving and snorkeling are world class, and the Maldives is also a top surfing destination, with the most popular surf spots in the north and south of the South Malay atolls. Other popular activities here include swimming with manta rays and whale sharks, as well as big game fishing. With water being a focal point and so many islands to choose from, the Maldives is also the perfect candidate for a cruise vacation. So that is our list. Have you guys visited any of these places before? If so, let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, then please consider dropping a like. That would be splendid. And if you love this sort of content, consider subscribing. It's completely free and we've got plenty more to come. As always, let us know where you are from, where your favourite country is and where your dream destination is too. Do you have any travel plans coming up? We'd love to hear about them. Thank you so much for watching, we hope you have a fantastic week and we'll see you in the next one.